A sunny and hazy day as we look live over portions of Lincoln, looking off to the south, looking down towards Highway 2 and south, the 13th and 14th Street. Uh, not hardly any clouds to be found. We can find some clouds if you look further off to the west where there are some thunderstorms, which I'll show you in a moment. Right now around the capital city, temperatures sitting in the middle to upper 90s. The airport officially at 94 after reaching a high of 95 this afternoon. 96 degrees at East Campus. It's 96 at Spirit Park, also on the south side of town, out along Denton Road. Temperature coming in at 93 degrees. Further south into Beatrice, 94. Unofficially, 102 in uh, February right now. 97, though, officially in Hebron. 98 in Hastings and 100 degrees. Cooling off just a little bit. Last hour, Grand Island coming in at 101. And look at the humidity. For that, we look at the dew point, which is just to measure the moisture in the air. Anything above 60 degrees starts to feel uncomfortable. Once you get into the upper 60s and 70s, it starts to feel more tropical and very uncomfortable, or what I like to refer to as muggly, and that is definitely the case this afternoon. It feels like it's 101 degrees in Lincoln. feels like 100 right now in Beatrice. feels like 102 coming in from Columbus. Now, for the rest of this evening, we'll keep clear skies and temperatures will be slowly dropping. 91 degrees by 9, 86 by 11, and notice our temperature is not dropping much tonight. Now, it will be a little cooler than what it was this morning where we only fell to 78. Tomorrow morning, down to 74 degrees, a bit cooler back out to the west. Notice the wind starting to shift out of the northwest as a weak cold front begins to move through the area. Now this afternoon and now heading into the evening, you can see more clouds out into the central part of the state and into the western part of the state where there are some thunderstorm clusters going on. Uh, some that are producing warnings up into Cherry County, one that produced some warnings up towards Holt County earlier. That's now up into South Dakota. And there are a few other thunderstorms that are now moving through up towards Greeley, for instance, and another cluster heading up towards the uh, Kearney area. We'll zoom in a little bit closer. You can see we've definitely got some lightning strikes just to the north and west of Kearney right now, also to the north of Holdridge. We'll be watching this one for a heavy downpour, maybe a quick gust of winds, maybe 30 to 40 miles per hour out of that as it continues to drift off to the north and east. Now on Stormcast, some of the models are having a hard time picking up on these individual storms that are developing, but later on tonight we may start to see more development out in the southwest corner of the state, and that's where it should remainly remain as we go through the overnight. Now eventually early tomorrow Tomorrow morning, we may see a, a light shower develop towards the Lincoln area, I would say by daybreak. And that's all because of a hot dome that is beginning to erode, or not so much erode, but move off to the south and east. We talk about this during the summer. It's high pressure in the upper levels of the atmosphere. Uh, basically, it's sinking air. When, when you sink air uh, and you compress it, it's a gas, so it's going to heat up. So notice as this begins to move off to the east and southeast, we start to see more thunderstorms developing on the back side of that. It's what we call a ring of fire pattern. You'll oftentimes get them then going up and around. In fact, notice over towards Ohio and Pennsylvania, you'll see some showers on the east side of the hot dome, but there is nothing really going on underneath that hot dome. So as that moves off to the east, that will increase our chances for showers and thunderstorms. Tomorrow we'll have a chance for an isolated or scattered shower or thunderstorm as we head in towards the afternoon hours. Uh, temperatures probably not as warm as today. I think we're talking highs in the upper 80s to low 90s. I'm forecasting 89 in Lincoln, 89 in Seward, and 93 in Beatrice. Winds shifting eventually to the northwest, uh, 5 to 10 with some gusts to 18 miles per hour. And we'll keep a chance for a few isolated thunderstorms or a shower in the forecast tomorrow evening as well. Uh, we need the rainfall because take a look at this. This is how much moisture we are losing from the ground at this time or uh, as of tomorrow. Nearly a third of an inch is being lost to evaporation or technically evapotransport. For more on that, you go to my Twitter account. I've got a link on the details on what evapotranspiration is. But nonetheless, we need a third of an inch of rain per day just to stay even right now. So we're losing a lot of moisture to the atmosphere. 86 degrees on Wednesday. Scattered showers and thunderstorms on Thursday. And you'll notice temperatures for the most part are cooling down. The exception being on Friday where we hit 95. It's going to be humid again. So heat index up right around 100 degrees. Some scattered showers and thunderstorms by Saturday, but not as humid. In fact, very comfortable air coming our way on Sunday. Uh, long range computer models suggesting dew points in the 40s. That'll be very comfortable by Monday morning down into the 50s. Uh, but we do start to warm things back up in the middle to upper uh, 80s to right around 90 yeah. by middle and end of next week. Give the